What's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here, and today we're gonna to be finalizing our business onboarding solution by creating a model-driven app and connecting our business process flow to it. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are at make.powerapps.com, and as always, you wanna make sure that you're in the correct environment. So you can see here, I'm in my personal environment here. And so we're gonna go to solutions over on the left hand side. So you can see solutions. And we're gonna to go to that business onboarding solution that we've been working on. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a model driven application to run our business process flow through. And so we're gonna go up here to the top where it says new and we're gonna create a new model-driven application. So we're gonna to go to new, app, and this one is gonna be a model-driven application. So we'll call this business onboarding. It's gonna be the name of our app. And so as we create this model-driven application, we have to add the tables that are in our solution in order for this to work properly. And so as that's loading here, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this page so that way I can see all of the tables that are in my business onboarding solution. So one of these is gonna be the main page and the other one's gonna be showing what tables are available inside of that business onboarding solution. And so to determine which ones we're gonna use here, you can see the table type here, so these are the ones that we're gonna be adding into our model-driven application. So it's gonna be our applicant table, the new hire and new hire survey table, and the onboarding business process flow. These are the four tables that we're gonna add into our model-driven application. So I'm gonna bounce back to the other tab here. And so when we're creating a model-driven application, we have to add the page in order to get this started. Now there's several ways to do this. You'll see this add page down here in the bottom. You can also create a page up here at the top as well. And there's also another button here at the top that says add page. So that's our first step is we're gonna add a page into our onboarding model driven application. Now this is where you're going to get the option to choose the content for the page. And in our case, we're gonna be using a Dataverse table we're actually gonna be using four of them. So we're gonna go next. And this is where we can search for our table. So it's gonna be the applicant table. There's our applicant table. And we're gonna do our new hire and new hire survey table. And the last table is our business process for that onboarding B PF as we named it. So once you've selected your four tables, we're gonna go ahead and add those to our model-driven application. And so we have our four tables now inside of our model-driven application. You can see that over here on the left-hand side under the navigation section. So we see our four tables that we've added here. You can also see it here under the new group inside of our model driven application. So we can make some modifications but it's really ready to go because we've already done all of the work. So with model driven applications it's about creating all the components first and then we can take all of those components and put them together in this model driven application, which is what we're going to do. So really the only thing that's left to do is to save this and publish it out. So let's go ahead and do that. So in the upper right hand corner, we're going to go ahead and save and publish. And we'll publish our model driven application here. And now we can go ahead and see what this looks like. So we're gonna click play. 
This is going to open up our model driven application to where we can see our applicant page. Okay, so these are our active applicants. So the different views that we have available are active and inactive applicants here. We can select the table. This is our new hires table. You can see that there's no information. New hire survey. There's that dummy survey that we created that has the auto number. And we can also see the table for our business process flow as well. Okay. So it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close these tabs down. And we'll go back to the main page here. All right, so notice that we now inside of our solution have this model driven application called business onboarding. And so that is what we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and click on business onboarding. And we're going to go ahead and create a new applicant record. Notice as soon as I click the new applicant record, the business process flow that we created now appears here at the top. And so this is how it's going to automatically go through the different stages in that business process flow that we've created. And so I'll just do a quick record here, John Doe. Notice the required steps have the star with them. And so I'll just make the first interview tomorrow. Okay, we don't have a second interview date, but let's say that we have a process in. It's going to be two weeks out from our initial. So I'm going to say Wednesday the 28th is going to be my first piece. Now as I click on the first stage in our business process flow, notice that we have application name and interview one date. Okay. So then as we go through this, we can then go to the next stage. It has the check mark saying that it has passed that first stage applicant name in the interview one date. So as I go to the next stage, we have it defaulted to no. And so this is where you can change. Okay. After the interview, yes, they passed or no, they did not. And that will direct the flow. Remember if we say no, it's going to send that automatic denial email of the applicant. So it's going to send that email to the applicant if we select no. So we can go ahead and select yes if we want to and it will move past that next stage. And so I can click save here. And then we can move on to the next stage. Notice once I save it, it says next stage. We'll go to the next the interview passed yes or no. Once we get there, we can go on to the next stage in the business process flow. So as I clicked yes, they passed, it now goes to interview two. Notice the interview two date now populates with inside of the business process flow. And then we can just navigate through the next stage. So this is a really awesome way to just make sure that everybody with inside of your organization follows the same steps, follows the same procedures. That's the purpose of a business process flow. I hope you like this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.